Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys something a little bit different than what's typical on this channel. It's a sick ass little portable flame forward. This is their Pulse Fire from Exothermic Technologies. They are sponsoring today's video, so know that. They sent this to me uh, just so I can do a cool video for you guys. So hope you enjoy and let's get into it. But wait! But I also like to mention that today's video is also sponsored by PowerTac Lights. Great lights at a great price. And if you use code BLUEJEAN at checkout, it gets you 15% off your entire order. So go check them out. So I am not very experienced when it comes to the world of flamethrowers. Flamethrowers were banned years ago due to the Geneva Convention, uh, deeming them as cruel and inhumane uh, to burn another person alive but you know what flamethrowers are still cool you can actually own them uh, you know uh, perfectly legal as a civilian and you can own these little portable little flamethrowers i've tried some others out but i've never tried one from exothermic technologies and what i love about this thing is how small and like portable this thing is you don't have to carry around like a big backpack uh tank full <laughs> full of gasoline um, all you do is you fill it up right here via this cap granted this means that you don't have a ton of capacity uh, to burn a lot of things before you have to refill up again via gasoline so in this one little shooting session we burned through this little whole little uh, tank of gasoline from what I've seen is you get about 20 seconds of like one continuous burst before it's completely empty. I never got over 20 seconds. It's between 18 to 20, depending on how full you actually get this little tank. But you know what? It's still pretty cool. It has a decent amount of reach. Uh, you know, it's not like what you've seen like out of a Sherman tank or you know one of the flamethrowers from you know World War II or anything like that. But you still get a decent amount of reach. Um, as you can see, I was like burning up that trench over there. But you know, still pretty cool and. Uh, I don't know, it's a neat thing to add to the arsenal. <laughs> so how you operate this thing is you have this button here at the front, this red switch. Once that's turned on, you can see that uh, the voltage or meter or whatever it is on the side here uh, clicks on. And how you shoot this thing is there's a little button right here at the front. So there, nothing is actuated from back here. You just hold on back here, push this button and sends out a flame. What the instructions say for the perfect mixture for your fuel is half gas and half diesel. That's what I have inside of this thing. Just gives it a little bit more of like a stick time whenever you uh, burn something up. It doesn't just dissipate immediately. One thing I'm fairly familiar with is how this thing is powered. This thing is electric powered. So if you can see here on the back here, you have this little case. You unscrew this. There you go. This thing pops open and you have your battery right here. So this is very similar to like how an airsoft or like an AEG is powered. So you have this little battery right here, um, should last you for a very long time. This is a fairly, it's 11.1 volt battery and uh, it comes with a charger so you can charge this thing up very similar to an airsoft gun. So one thing you have to be careful of when it comes to this thing is stowing this battery, very similar to an airsoft gun. Again, you wanna make sure that these wires are stowed properly. What I found on this thing is just tucking them in right there. That way you can get the case on like this and the wires aren't getting in the way of the case whenever you close it. You don't wanna end up like pinching the wires between like the metal case and the actual device because you could uh, damage your battery like that. So be careful of that. One thing that I forgot to mention is that this thing is able to actually attach to the bottom of your Picatinny rail on your rifle. So if I had a Picatinny rail on this right now, I'd be able to mount this down here for some serious like gears of war vibe so <laughs> that's pretty cool <laughs> but that's about it guys that is the pulse fire from exothermic technologies really cool little portable flamethrower and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please consider dropping a like and subscribing you can also follow me on instagram at blue gene operator or go to my website thebluegeneoperator.com to find some cool shirts and merch which helps support the channel also make sure to hit that notification bell just so you can keep up to date whenever i decide to post new video but that's all you got for you guys i'll see you guys next time